Hello guys and welcome back to another the Zob 500 video. And in this video, since you liked part 1 and part 2 so much, we're going to be doing part 3 of 7 tracks that Microtour missed out by not putting in their mobile game. We're going to start off with SNES Mario Circuit 4, which, you know, I'm not crying myself to sleep over that it's not in. But, you know, it would have been nice, considering we got Mario Circuit 3 instead which is one of my least favorite tracks in the whole series. So just having uh, Mario Circuit 4 instead would make me a lot happier. Please. Next up, I went for Moo Moo Farm. This is such an underrated track. One of the better tracks in Mario Kart 64's Mushroom Cup. Not really, but I, I do like it. I like it. It's probably in my top 8 favorite 64 tracks. Uh, the reason why I like it so much is because cows, but also... You could easily make this Mario Kart tourified. The round is the uh, ground is so bumpy. You could make that trickable for your points and for your combos. And I'm actually shocked it's not in, and a bit sad. Ribbon Road. So what have I? What I've learned from all these years on the internet is that there's like four fan favorites from Super Circuit, Cheeseland, Sky Garden, Sunset Wilds, Ribbon Road, and Ribbon Road is literally the definition of trickable, at least in Mario Kart Eight. So you could surely put this in um, for your combos. Come on. You would get so many points on Ribbon Road. Why is this not in exactly? Next up is GCN Wario Coliseum. Although they would have to pull a Wii Rainbow Road, cut this in half, make it to a one second track. Which I guess people would be less mad about for this one than with Wii Rainbow Road for some reason. Maybe because of their, you know. I don't know why. GCN Wario Coliseum, though, it's a pretty good track for tour, honestly. You could probably get a couple of points, but I see why they wouldn't want to put it in because the roads are so windy. You'd probably work best with, would work best with anti-gravity. I've skipped over DS. I've gone for two E tracks, and one of them is Wario's Goldmine. This one, because this one is such a great track. I think Wario's Goldmine deserved to be in tour. Maybe it just fell under the Mario Kart uh, Wii retro track spell. Basically, Mario Kart Wii is, uh, and DS, actually, are the only games that all of their tracks from Mario Kart 8, oh, and Super Circuit, weren't in tour. None of them were in tour. Well, yeah, whatever, Wario's Goldmine, it's a good track. Yeah, you could do a couple of combos and stuff. Next up is Wii Grumble Volcano. I guess you could do a couple for your combo, but this would just be look, would look pretty good in Mario Kart Wii, uh, Mario Kart Tour. Yeah, I think Mario Kart Wii has Mario Kart Tour-esque graphics, but um, yeah, I, having the course fall apart, it would be a, it would be a great gimmick for Mario Kart Tour. Next up, 3DS DK Jungle. Yeah, I mean, of course they had 12 3DS tracks. I'm not, I'm not crying over it, but uh, it would have been interesting to see it. I see. I thought some people were like thinking that mobbed DK, which turned out to be Product Hunt Pipeline, was thinking that it'd be DK Jungle, but it of course wasn't. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.